Hi there, this is Max with Apri.io and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you to build an SMS app using Nexmo API. And I have the Nexmo page open right now. It's a communication platform which enables you to send SMS uh, messages using its API. And um, to get started, if you want to use Nexmo, uh, please sign up for an account and you can see there is a link and it's free to start. Now, so the app we're going to build, we're going to create a backend. And then we will also build an Ionic app that will, um, from which we can send uh, the message. All right. So to start, we're going to uh, write a server code script in our pre.io, which will connect to the Nextmo uh, API. All right. Now the Nextmo API is um, right here. So this is this is the doc site, and the API is right here. So uh, I'm going to copy this URL. And then you can see there's also API key, API secret, to, from, and then the text. So we'll need to set those values as well. But let's go to server code and we'll create a new script. And we're going to call this SMS. And here we can use next more SMS. Now, so this is just a simple script that um, you get when you create a new script. But we can go ahead and delete it. Now, we need, uh, we need code which will invoke a third-party external API. But a simple way to get the code is to use snippets here. And you can see there is a call REST API post, so it has to be a post. Just clicking insert, you get a template which we can use. So let's paste in the, uh, the URL. Now we also need two parameters, and that's the two, where we're going to send, and also the text. And we can use snippets again. And let's see, request get param and one, and then we can do one more. All right, we can call this two, and this will be text. All right, now let's set the parameter. So this is the API key. This is API uh, secret. Now we need one more. This is the uh, two. And we're gonna set the two number uh, actually like this. And we're going to set from, and we're going to set the from number in just a second. It's a default value. And then the text. All right. Now let's take care of the headers. And we'll just set one header, which is the content type. And then the body doesn't need any body, so we can just make it, it can be just blank. All right. Now let's get the API key. Now when you sign in for an account and you go to your settings page, uh, this is my API key. I'm going to copy it. So there's the API key. And then this is the API secret. Right. And the from number is a, your next one number. And to get the number, I'm going to go to numbers and copy this number. All right. Now, um, you want to test the script. So before obviously using it in the app, uh, you want to make sure it works. And that's also very easy to do. Um, but first, we need to create these two parameters, and two and text. And to do that, we're going to go to script parameters. And just very simple, we're going to say two and then text. And we're going to say hello from server code. And then the number is going to be 1415-484-9953, all right? And let's see here. So everything looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, save and then switch to run and click Save and Run, all right? And this means that the message was sent successfully. This is just a response from Nexmo. And then I actually, this is a Google uh, voice number, and I'm going to show you so you can see this um, message that I just sent. All right, so this is a test message which I received and uh, it works. So you definitely want to test, uh, whenever you're writing a server code script, you want to test the script uh, and your logic before actually using it in an app. Um, so this way you know that the script works uh, and all is well. All right, so that's it for the, uh, for the script. Now we're ready to build the actual app. So let's go to Apps tab. All right. 
and let's create a new app. And we're going to call this, um, just call it SMS app. All right, and we will uh, use the Ionic, and then Ionic blank is fine, and click create. All right, now let's open the first page, or actually the index page, which is the template, and we'll set the header to maybe next month. We can also change the color if you would like. Now let's open screen one. And let's build the UI. So we'll drag and drop a card component, and then inside the card component, we're going to drop two components here. Actually, two input components. This is for the number, and this is for the message. And let's set the placeholder. So this is number, and we'll change the type to telephone, and then this will be the message. All right. Finally, let's get a button. And let's change the button to send message. All right. Um, and we can change this maybe to SMS. All right. So this is how the UI looks. And if you want, you can also change the button to the same color. All right. So something like this. All right. So this is it for the UI. Again, pretty straightforward, but also very simple. Now, the next step is to import the service or the backend service that we just created, which is the server code script. And to do that, we go to create new and then select server code service. And now we find the uh, next more SMS, which is right here, and click import. And then the service is automatically imported, so there is nothing really to do. All right now, usually you want to test the service here as well inside the app builder just to make sure it works. If we go to request and then to query parameters, you can see that the test values are set, right? That's because we set them in server code scripts, so they're imported. So for testing purposes, this is fine because if I go to test, these values are set, so I don't need to enter them, right? But of course, when you run the app, you want to delete them. But let's test with these values. Let's just change testing from the app builder, click test. All right, and this the same response, and uh, we can go to and see that this is the message. All right, so that works. Um, the service works also inside the app builder. Now, you, again, before using it, actually, you want to delete these values, right? Because you don't want these default values to be here. All right. All right. Um, the next step is to go to uh, to the Ionic page, and then we're going to switch to scope. First, we're going to create two scope variables, two and text. Next, we're going to uh, create a function, and I'm going to call the send SMS. And so inside this function, we want to invoke this the service. And so a quick way to get the code to invoke the service is to use drag and drop. So I'm going to select the service and then drag and drop it inside. And you can see it inserts all the code for me. What I do need to do is I need to uh, bind, uh, bind data uh, from the scope uh, to the service. And for that, I'm going to click to edit mapping. And I'm going to expand and expand. So this is my scope and the two variables. And this is the service. So I'm going to take two and map it to two and then text. All right. So we're taking data from the Angular scope and mapping it to the service. When I click save and replace, uh, the code uh, the code will be generated. All right, so you can see uh, the code here. Now, one more thing we want to do is maybe when the message is sent, we want to just show a confirmation. For that, let's use a model panel. So I'm going to create a model, uh, just keep the default name and call this Information. We can, right, we can maybe delete the header. Oh, right, so we can delete the entire thing. Let's delete the header. And uh, let's call this um, SMS message sent. All right, 
Uh, any, this is primarily for success, but of course you can you know, show an error message in the case if there is an error of some sort uh, as well. And maybe we can make this also. All right, let's go back to the uh, page and we're gonna use the success callback here. And uh, I'm going to use a snippet, right? This is another way you can quickly insert code. And the one I need is um, this one, open model page. And then the code is automatically inserted. The only thing I need to set the name. When I press, um, when I delete this and press control space bar, the name is automatically inserted because there's only one model panel. But if there are more than one, then you'll just get a list from which you can select. So and again, we're handling the success, but you can of course handle the error uh, as well. All right. Uh, we are um, done here. The next step is to go to the design, back to the design, and bind the page to the scope. So first I select that number and in G model. And again, I'm going to actually press con control space bar. You can see it knows what variables I have in scope. So I can just set it. And then same thing here. So again, this is very nice. You don't have to type or remember the names. And then the button, I uh, got ng click, control space bar, send SMS. All right, now we are actually done. The next step is to test, uh, test this app. So let's click test. All right, and now we enter a number, so 01415. 484-9953, hello from this Ionic app, uh, something like this, and click send message. All right, and we can see message, uh, message sent, All right, and let's actually, um, oh, we don't see the message here. All right, um, let's, um, well, we can now, um, let's quickly debug the app and actually open uh, the browser developer tools and let's see the network here and see what's happening. So we're gonna click send again. All right, and look, this is the, all right, so it looks like it's sent uh, let me just make sure the number is correct. Oh, I entered the wrong number. That's why. Um, nine nine oh five four. Okay, so that station. All right. Anyhow, so as you can see, this is also one way you wanna you know you can debug the app, which is obviously gonna happen. Uh, it's just part of any any development. But let's go ahead and enter the right number. Yeah, I made a mistake. Three. Let's close this. Uh, I would probably see this if I just looked at the number carefully, but again, debugging is always, a, uh, knowing how to debug is always a good, good option. Let's click send message. All right, so I probably sent a message to someone else, uh, but uh, that should be okay. Let's go back to Gmail and here we go. I uh, just received uh, this message, All right? So, the app works, again, I just mistyped the number the, uh, the first time. Let's close this. All right, so that's, um, that's it um, for this app. Now, um, a quick way to launch this app on your device is you can scan this QR code, right? Um, or you can also use uh, the Apri IO Tester app, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. But before I do that, um, if, uh, this is your app, let's say this is your final app, then you can also go to export and you can launch uh, a binary build for either Android uh, or iOS, right? And then publish the app to Google Play or the Apple App Store. But again, uh, this test here, this is testing in the browser, but you wanna be able to test on the device and without maybe installing the app on the device because it just takes uh, a lot of time to install the app. So we're gonna use the 
um, AppReIO uh, Tester app, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to share my screen in just one second here. All right. So you can see the app uh, is right here, SMS app. And again, to just refresh, you just do this, and then we can just. Uh, Right, and you can see uh, this app is the same app. And let's enter uh, 1415-484-9953. And then low from Ionic app. And then um, put number two. Two. All right, then click send. All right, message, uh, message sent. And let's look at our Gmail again there. All right, and you can see uh, this is what we uh, we just got this message. All right, so again we tested the app running directly on the device, and it works uh, the same uh, the same way. So, I hope you found this video uh, useful. Um, you, know, you can try building this app and definitely try, um, check out our YouTube channel, which has uh, many other videos on different topics. Thank you for watching.